So I'm going to just do my little black. Leave some more little black in there. I'm going to leave some white because I know that those are little spaces where the white um, thorn sticks out. And when I get to this edge, I know that they're sticking off right there. So I'm going to, I'm going to make myself places where it's going to stay white. And I'm not making a little kid sun, right? Okay, so we're here. And then I can start doing the charcoal. So this is black and this is more of a charcoal, so I'm not going to go as dark. But I'm going to um, fill that in to start establishing where my, my bristle texture, my little thorns are. And I said to myself, okay, that is starting to come around. I'm really liking this. But it's too, um, too many scribble marks. Remember how we did scribbles last time? Okay, not, we don't want it scribbly. So you can either take your finger and do it like that, but it's harder. You can take a spiral piece of paper and do that. A stub, make yourself a stub. See, isn't this nice? And sometimes it'll just have the junk on it and you can keep working with it. So this is how you're going to create this one. And you're going to keep going, like for example, with this white that sticks off. Let's establish where that is. I'm going to establish where this one is too. And the other one's back there. And then again, we'll go um, some of these little pieces that come off the, the thorns and back again to the charcoal. So this is how you're going to do that. Didn't take very long. It's nice um, and beautiful. All right. So this is how you're going to do all of these. If you want to do a circle, you can always trace it. You say, "Well, that's too big." I know. And you say, "Oh, well, all right. Well, what about this one? I'm going to center that. That one might actually be better, right?" But you can find it if you sew, you can get a spool. Um, you can look around in the kitchen for caps of some sort. And, you know, just find something that you can trace around if it's going to be a nice circle because we don't, we don't want, on this one, it's rough. And so, but at first, we don't want to do that. Yes, I know it's rough. That's a dashed line. Remember how we did dashed lines last week? Okay, so start off with a nice smooth circle. Let's go here. Start off with a nice smooth circle, and then we can work the edges. Okay, it's how we want to, to make it, to take it back to rough. So in this one, if you squint, you can see that the whole side is, can you see that that's gray? And then this is, the center's kind of light gray, and this all is really light gray. Um, so what you can do is start off with the edge. So let's, let's just kind of roughen it up. We're doing, doing a rough texture, right? And then you're going to keep, let's see, once you've gotten, let's say, we do this edge. I'm going to help you with that. So then I'm going to use the side of my pencil so that we can make this into a round object. I haven't fixed this side yet, so I'm just going to work with it right here for a second. So can you see that right there? It's a little darker down here. Oops, getting a little bit too tough. Okay, so now I'm going to lighten my hand up, lifting the pencil lightly to get that light color. And then it's like, ooh, be careful, careful. In fact, I might want to use my stub again, and I'm going to kind of rub it. 
dark. If you want to clean it off, uh, just get a piece of paper. Just don't have too much on it. Clean it off like that. Keep going lightly. Rub it off. And then there we are, light. Okay, so now that does not look rough, does it? So now we're going to go back with our eraser. I'm going to erase back some of these light places. how nice that's becoming. Some of these are a little bit lines. So, you know, be an artist. This is being creative. It's fun. It's good for your brain. You know, to come all the way over here into your creative side of your brain and just enjoy making rough texture. Next time you see rough texture out in the world, you know how much more you're going to really appreciate it. I promise you will. Because I do. And you're going to keep going. That's how you do it. All right, so each one of these is going to have their own personality, but the techniques that I taught you here in both of these, you can use on the rest of this. And I hope you really will enjoy doing that. I enjoyed this, and I kind of want to finish it, but that's nice. It was fun. And oh, and don't forget the background. See, this is a light gray. Um, I'll get my stub and just, just stub it with what's dirty on there. Because when you did that, look what happened. It makes the white even whiter and more beautiful. So let's finish our pieces. And this one will be all finished out too. It's own little drawing, perfect drawing. Okay, let's do it.